Hey guys, so it's time. Let me give you my summer list. Uh, it's basically, you know, there's no such thing as an ultimate list. Uh, you know, there's no answer to the best fragrances, but these are fragrances that I'm wearing this year and that I'll absolutely recommend to you guys. And, uh, you know, it's gonna change year to year, right? But um, here we go, let's get started. So I've got uh, 10 designer fragrances and <clears throat> I'll give you five niche fragrances that I love for the summer. Um, and you know, if you think about it, 10 is actually a lot to even wear, right? Over the span of three months. So, you know, and lists like these are, uh, I think a little bit too big, but just giving you some more options. All right, so let's start with the designers. <clears throat> The first one I've got here, and I'll tell you, by the way, um, reasons why, like briefly, why I like each thing, right? So the first one I have is Rasasi's Havas. Um, most of these fragrances are, or all of them are well known in the community. So Havas, I like because it, to me, is one of the best fruity fragrances. And <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of fruit scents or aquatic scents. I do enjoy them, but I'm just not the biggest fan of that genre. But this one, the opening is so beautiful. It's it's like a very you know mouth-watering, uh, juicy fruit mix, right? Uh, and you know the word mouth-watering gets thrown a lot in, in different reviews, but this one truly, you get just a nice burst of fruits. What you have to know about this one is <clears throat> it's actually quite a dense quite a musky fragrance and there's a strong ambergris note um, and I do have to say despite how good the opening is I don't find myself reaching for this as much just because of how sort of heavy it is um, it is a very strong fragrance where you know one spray even you'll smell for hours <clears throat> it, it's this kind of scent that fills the room so very strong thick fragrance what's also unique about this is it's kind of aquatic, but it's different from your typical aquatics in that, like I said, it's this muskiness. It's not so watery. It's uh, it's more, I would say, like breezy. And it's quite, it's refreshing. Um, that's why it works for the summer, but it's refreshing in a different way. It's not watery, but rather airy, okay? But it's really for the fruit opening that I recommend this one. <clears throat> All right, next up is a tried and true classic uh, Versace Pour Homme and I see you know this fragrance sort of <clears throat> I think last year maybe two years ago it kind of everyone knows about it but it kind of disappeared and then it's sort of re-emerging in the talk and you know what this is one that's you know just tested right and this is this is you know the reason I have this in the collection and the reason I love it is to this day I still have not designer or niche I've never smelled anything so energizing and so invigorating, right? So when I'm going for that kind of feel, <clears throat> when I just need a pick-me-up, uh, you know, this is just perfect. There's something about this. Uh, you know what, let me give it a spray. Uh, <clears throat> it's just a very nice blend. It's one of these fragrances that's, to me, smells so synthetic, but so good. And yeah, it's sort of this uh, really, oh man, really sharp, Kind of lemon but with the musky background and there's something that makes this so ozonic okay compared to many fragrances this one lifts me up the most um, almost like like clean laundry but it's just so so nice so tasty uh, and <clears throat> one of those scents that it's gonna please everybody it smells synthetic but in a good way uh, I would wear this mostly, you know, or just only in the summer, although this is a kind of very versatile scent, um, you know, it is, it can be used as a signature, but just because of how bright it is, uh, how refreshing it is, I prefer it only for the summer. So I have a small bottle. <clears throat> All right, next up is, uh, you know, when I recently reviewed one of the new releases, uh, H24, and you know what? <clears throat> I'm not ashamed to say I like this. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people hating it because they're saying, you know, this is uh, not even close to the quality of Terre d'Hermes. But look, it's a different kind of scent, right? And what can you really expect? You know, Terre d'Hermes, beautiful, but you want to do something different, right? There's, you know, there's no point in releasing another Blue de Chanel kind of fragrance. So 
what else can you do? And I think they did a good job releasing something different. And it's not for everybody, right? Uh, you know, <clears throat> you can tell from the kind of divisive opinions, like it's not for everybody. But for me, I like it because I really like the green floral aspect of this. It truly, like, it, it takes you to a garden. And, you know, um, if you like Hermes's Un Jardin line of fragrances, you will like this. If you like those kind of, you know, I was going to say natural uh, scents, but this is not so natural. I mean, it's got, it has a very kind of modern, uh, you know, synthetic feel about it, especially with the metallic note. But, but what I mean to say is that it, it similarly takes you to this garden vibe, okay? It's really interesting, it's really unique, okay? And I mean, it's not the strongest of fragrances, but to me, I, I find myself reaching for this quite a bit because of how easy it is to wear, especially uh, in the office setting. And I do like fragrances like that that can take me from the office to the casual environment, all right? You know, it's <clears throat> when you have so many fragrances that are too sweet or overpowering, um, it's hard to actually wear them because if you're somebody who works every day, you know, it's, uh, you can't wear those fragrances all that much. But this is one that's so office appropriate. All right, next up, uh, one of my personal favorites, uh, another well-known scent, and I can vouch for it as well. It's uh, Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. And, you know, you might be concerned about the performance. Actually, the more and more I wear it, it performs great on me, you know? It actually lasts uh, most of the day. Uh, and I, I smell it throughout the day. It, it For me, it works, okay? Uh, so I think it's not a bad performer for some people, all right? And I'm lucky to say, you know, it works for me. But wow, this scent is unique also. Um, but it's, it, you know, it's this combination of, it's this iris done in a way that's so different. Iris and pedigree and <clears throat> basically, how should I describe? It smells watery and airy and citrusy, right? This. This shines especially in the air. I think this is one of those fragrances that just creates a very nice scent bubble uh, and it's just ultra clean, right? So whenever, uh, you know, I want a transparent scent, there's really nothing like this. Uh, just ultra clean and yet unique, right? Iris kind of uh, interestingly gives it this, you know, uh, not powdery, but really soft touch, but this one also mixes that with the watery element, and that's what makes it so clean. All right, next is a fragrance I also reviewed. Uh, it's Prada Loam Low, all right? The one in the blue. And, you know, I include this one because we all know of Prada Loam, <clears throat> but this one, I thought initially that uh, I wouldn't buy a full bottle of it because you know, on testings, I thought that it was a bit too powdery for me. It's this, in fact, it's got powdery notes listed. It's quite a powdery fragrance, but there, it's different. Also has a note of ginger and it's, you know, it's very bright. But what makes this special to me is there's similar to, you know, Prada Loam. It has that amber note and it has a sweetness in there, right? But this one, again, little softer, brighter, more powdery. And basically what ends up happening when you when you combine that sweetness with the iris to me this one it it actually creates a delicious scent like it's 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 hard to describe but it's so edible like it, i almost want to bite into it and it's weird when when iris is giving you that feel but it's that buttery quality that's you know i don't really i'm not the biggest fan of sweet scents either but this one just does it in an elegant way uh, where, you know, this sweetness and pow buttery powderiness just makes me want to bite into it. It's delicious, yet, uh, you know, well-balanced and work appropriate. And, you know, this is another one that in the air just smells so great um, because it's so soothing and soft and, and slightly sweet. Uh, and the best part is that this thing like performs really well on me again, you know <clears throat> um, It's kind of it's surprising. It's a fresh scent that just all day long, you know performance if you give it enough sprays right four or five um, and 
you know, that's what makes this so kind of good on the fresh side, right? All right, next is for those people uh, who want, <clears throat> who like those more masculine scents, right? And who want more of a, a presence. This is a really, you know, it's one of those scents that will grow on you more and more. Platinum Egoist. And I think this is so great year round, but to me, you know, it's so, such an easy reach for the summer because of how clean it is, right? Uh, you know, people talk about kind of a metallic feel because the name has platinum in it. It's really hard to describe, but it's a, uh, you know, it's this pedigree. It's a very complex sense, so it's, it's hard to describe in a few words, but it's got this sharpness of pedigree, slightly bitter notes, you know, herbal, floral, the, your classic kind of lavender geranium notes as well. Uh, very shower gel feel, right? And, and barbershop feel, but it's not too much, right? I don't like fragrances that go in that direction too much, where you might smell old school or you might smell a bit older or dated. This one, you know, comes just short of that, just enough to give it that masculine quality, but still keep it fresh, modern, and just, just nice, right? That where I think uh, anyone like, you know, 25 and up can wear this. Um, it's got this kind of creamy freshness as well, you know, uh, that makes this so interesting and unique and very, again, work appropriate, right? Next is another scent you can wear everywhere, including to the office and one of the best cheap scents still uh, and also unique, right? So you see, uh, the scents that I give you are gonna be unique. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't, there's no point in having the same kind of scents in the collection for me, right? And this one does a job that the other fragrances don't. It's got a unique scent profile. This is so, in fact, I'm gonna give it a spray here. Oh man, yeah, it's uh, very linen-like. Um, so clean, so airy, but in a way that's different from uh, Gentleman Cologne. Right? That one is this kind of watery, iris, uh, cool feel. This one, slight kind of muskiness as well, but so airy, okay? So, uh, it's like your laundry's hanging outside, right? And blowing in the breeze. It's, it gives me that sort of feel. Uh, and because of how clean it is, uh, I would put this in my summer list. Okay, next is, you know, recent edition. Um, it's one you guys know well. I gotta add this one. Uh, vintage Green, 78 Vintage Green from Banana Republic. And oh, by the way, the Burberry Touch, $30 fragrance, right? Another $30, $35 fragrance that just, this one for me performs good enough, okay? Um, I have heard people say, you know, not the best for them, but uh, anyway, it's an Eau de Parfum that for me performs like an Eau de Parfum. And it's, it, this, I have this to uh, kind of satisfy my kind of fig craving, right? If you're wanting a green scent that, and to me a green scent is like, I imagine very natural fruits or vegetables, right? So like it could be tomato vines, you know that smell when you uh, put your nose to tomato vine. I, I personally like that smell. This doesn't have that, but uh, this one has notes of fig and tea and, you know, it's... But it has that green feel, right? The kind of vegetal, but this one fruity and sweet at the same time. It's so refreshing and clean. Uh, and unisex, this is a unisex kind of scent, but I think that it's not... Uh, it doesn't lean feminine, so it can work for guys who typically like very masculine fragrances. All right, this one, I mean, I consider it designer based on price and availability. Uh, Aqua di Parma, Blue Mediterraneo, and this one is the Myrto di Paneria. And you can, you know, anything from the blue line, I would say is a great pick for uh, the summer, all right? I just happen to choose this one because this is one of my favorites. Uh, and, you know, again, different from the other fragrances, this is to satisfy that citrus craving. This is. The citrus here is so, oh man, I mean, it transports me to uh, kind of literally the Mediterranean, 
right? And I remember like my trip to Greece, it takes me right there. Uh, it's like you're walking by the seaside. This has that feel that sort of, you, it feels like you're walking by some citrus groves or trees, right? With the wind blowing and it's aquatic at the same time. It has a sea feel to it, uh, sh very sharp. Um, and this is a scent that in the high heat can actually work really well. And also at home, I, I like to wear this uh, sort of as a cozy scent. Um, it has a very soothing quality because of this myrtle note. Ah, oh, so good. And you know, I think it's a scent that's hard to dislike. It is a little bit floral, but I don't think that it's feminine. All right, great citrus scent. <clears throat> and I wanted to include another kind of cheap option that's relatively unique and you know uh, by now you guys probably know of it is sculpture uh, i haven't worn it so much yet um, again it's it's, a, it's hard to go through all scents in in one season right but this one you know the idea it's it's by the brand nikos uh, <clears throat> and the perfumer of this is the same guy who did you know uh Fahrenheit, and i i can't remember if he did he's the one who did um uh, Mont Blanc Starwalker uh, but this is a guy who kind of act, can do these unique scents really well Michael Almarac and man this one <clears throat> I wasn't sure if I liked it initially but it grows on you it's actually very easy to wear and very fresh but in a different way it's uh it's got this weird blend of tonka bean but it's still aquatic fresh right and you know the inspiration for this is sort of the again the Mediterranean seaside it's supposed to remind you of that kind of environment and it actually does really well it has this kind of uh, like smooth fruitness fruitiness but this kind of oh man it's hard to bitter sharp uh, sweet tonka bean okay uh, it's I mean that's not all from the tonka bean but it's a tonka bean sweetness with some kind of bitter sharp qualities and you know it's uh I think a lot of people will like this right it's not my personal favorite from the list but I did want to include it as an option because it's so unique and I like fragrances that actually transport you right to a certain kind of environment and this one actually does a good job of giving off that mediterranean feel so let's move on to the niche side of things first one i got for you is nishane's hachibat and you might be surprised this is in the summer list but you know what this is can work year round but it's an x-ray that parfum that's can be dense and heavy but and i also add that this uh i didn't think that you know initially I didn't I wasn't really blown away and I didn't think I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this but you know what I love this because uh, it's hard I mean this is supposed to be similar to Ventus but it's hard calling this a fruity fragrance despite uh, having that pineapple note to me this is a really mossy woody scent right but just balanced with the fruit but predominantly it's a very rugged masculine mossy intense scent almost goes smoky because of that mossiness uh it's got the oak note of oak moss and it's quite woody at the same time but what i love is is it's it is a fragrance that feels dense like you're actually wearing it you know you can feel the weight of it but it's not too heavy or uh, intoxicating that it, you can't wear it in the summer it's it gives off a nice kind of uh woodiness right that around you and and it's a very strong fragrance last 12 plus hours right uh, but to me yeah it's not offensive it just gives you know this very nice it takes you again to a forest for me it takes me to a kind of a forest environment uh, but that mix with the fruit it's it's like you're grilling the pineapple it's kind of that feel it's not so sweet it's more mossy and woody and, and a little bit dark and earthy um, but so intense, right? And that's what I love about this. This is a, a man's scent, right? A grown man's scent. All right, next up uh, is a Parfum Zamali, and I have only the decant, but still quite a bit left, right? Uh, but I can guarantee you, I will buy a full bottle of this at some point because, you know, I just knew that from the start. I think it's Parfum Zamali's Galloway, and 
to me, the one in the white bottle, to me, it's the best fresh parfum de Mali still. You know, sadly, is gets all the talk nowadays, um, and I think it's it's great. It's really good, but I'm not sure that I personally would pay that niche price for that kind of scent. Uh, it's it's really good. It's 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 crowd pleasing. It's gonna work, but you know, if you're into niche perfumery, you want something more unique. I think Galloway is more unique, and for me, it's this. Uh, I I think it's got you know neroli and pepper, but it's. You know, I, this is a fragrance that made me realize, you know, how elegant pepper can be and, you know, when used well, it's sort of like, the, you know, your simple black pepper can smell so expensive and exquisite. Uh, there's another fragrance that does that I smell recently, Amage's Honor Man. You know, similarly, different kind of scent, but they both utilize this pepper note. Uh, but here... It's okay. I, I'm getting sculpted off my arm, so it's hard to give you that fresh impression. But I know this scent. I mean, it's citrusy, but it's so different. And just like how the name uh, kind of is, is meant to portray, right? Galloway, I think, is a kind of a horse racing horse. Uh, this has sort of a dashing quality to it to me, and it takes me to. Uh, in my mind, you know, one of my sort of things on the bucket list is to go to the Scottish Highlands, you know, and I like the whiskey. I want to, I actually want to go to also Ireland. That sort of feel, right? Green, hilly, uh, rural. It takes me right there, right? Like, and, ah, oh man, it's a fresh scent that's, again, again, I, the best way I can describe it is it just reminds me of Ireland in my mind. It's sort of greenery. A little bit, you know, mysterious, empty, but, you know, just fresh, right? Uh, natural. Um, you know, you just got to try it. I, it and I, it's not for everyone, right? Just just like how Neroli, the note, is not for everyone. Not every fragrance is for everyone. Sadly, it's probably more mass appealing, but I think this is a lot more unique, and I personally favor this one. Okay, next up is, uh, you know, Flores Neroli Voyage, and... You know, basically, when I reviewed this, I, I a simple way that I put it is, if you like Bulgari Aqua Amara, right? You like that kind of note, the Neroli. This is that uh, on a niche level, smoother, still long-lasting. It performs like an eau de parfum, and it is. Uh, and it's got slightly more interesting facets, a little more woodiness going on in the background, but it is quite. Uh, citrusy and soapy, right? Uh, and floral. Uh, and it really brings out that Neroli. Uh, so if you like that note, you, you know you like that note, this is a great one. But if you're not familiar with the smell, <clears throat> this is a great one because, again, it satisfies that citrus craving, but Neroli adds this soapiness. This one is almost kind of honeyed as well. It's just so rich. And at the same time, has a little bit of woodiness in the background. And a great one again in the air you just it radiates and it's very work appropriate and I find myself this is so clean and easy and yet unique and strong that that it's one that I reach for very easily right and I'm, I'm telling you sort of the fragrance is that for one reason or another I reach for right it's a sign that they're you know very wearable and good and unique and easy right <clears throat> All right, next one doesn't get talked about so much, you know, it's, it's Kumquat Wood and you know, this, I'm going to say something controversial. I think that uh, Cedra Boise is not the best Mancera for me. Uh, and you know, I haven't tried all Manceras, just a handful, but for, for now, this is my favorite, Kumquat Wood. And it's interesting, this is another one where initially I wasn't going to buy a full bottle, I wasn't sure if... I really liked it, but very quickly grew on me, and that's because. So this, it's it's got vetiver, which I love, but it's not really a vetiver dominant scent. <clears throat> this is one that has obviously this cum cut accord, but it's it's like a bitter orange feel. But this from the get go is very smooth and very kind of subdued, but it's 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 long lasting for me. It's strong, uh, but it's it's this blend of floral notes, general kind of floral notes, general spice notes, and then this bitter orange top, right? 
that's just so it's soft it's it's kind of masculine uh, gentlemanly it's smooth it's rich you know i i love this uh <clears throat> it's it's sort of i don't know manceras kind of have this synthetic feel to me um but again they're affordable and, and often beat out you know designers in terms of uniqueness but this one it also it has that you know, synthetic feel a little bit but in the air i love this right and that's what's important right you may not think it's the best when you're smelling it up close but it might be different in the air this is one that you know was uh all day long i could smell sort of coming off this nice kind of floral woody uh smell with a little bit of citrus a little bit bitter and then the vetiver right little bit of that vetiver ah but it's good it's good it's the floral mix in this that's that's interesting that still keeps it masculine <clears throat> all right last but not least uh the fifth niche Colonia Intensa and you know I recently compared this one to Essenza I think personally I favor Essenza but look we did another citrus scent with the blue Mediterranean <clears throat> line uh, this one works particularly well for summer I think uh, I think Essenza is a better all-around kind of signature scent but for me for my taste because it has that uh, oak moss a little bit of clove and rose more classic uh, Fougere. This one, it's it's got this cedar and leather, but it's it. This actually feels and performs like an eau de cologne. Okay, so it, it, that's why it's sort of fresh and refreshing. Um, it will stay on your clothes all day, but it's not one that projects like a monster to me. But it's it's this really interesting kind of mix of, of resins, uh, cedar wood, a wood, woodiness and leather that's still fresh right and still citrusy and tart and then it dries down into more of a uh, uh, more of this kind of sharp bitter and, and resinous feel um, it's you know it's very rugged and masculine but fresh and I think from that standpoint this is very unique and uh, very very refreshing out of the shower even in high heat you can wear this despite it being a leather fragrance and that's why this is so amazing. Uh, you know, I would prefer it for summer over other seasons or warmer months. All right. All right. So that's all, guys. That's uh, this year's uh, summer list. You know, I'm not going to be releasing uh, any other kind of summer. I'm not going to be releasing 10 different summer lists. Uh, otherwise, what would be the point, right? Um, but these are scents I like. And you know, you know, if you have a similar taste as me, uh, I think that you will like these choices. All right. So. Let me know if you have any other recommendations or let me know what your favorites are for summer and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.